What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me for today's pro session. I was with four other guys, all of whom have played abroad in the MLS, in other professional leagues here in the United States. It is a fantastic group of players and we had a great hour, hour and a half long technical session the other day. So hope you guys enjoy. Let's hop straight into the video. Okay, so the first drill that you're seeing right now is basically a 3v1 in a square, kind of like a rondo, but instead of having a 5v2, you've got a 3v1, but the idea is that you are passing the ball simply to the side to your right or the side to your left, so you're never allowed to pass the ball straight in front of you or across the square. And what that does is it forces the players who are not on the ball to move to the other side. So there's always one player usually who's moving constantly trying to figure out if I'm playing with person A, person B on the other side has to move depending on who has the ball, right? So if I play it over here, he's got to move to the other side. And if the ball's back with me, he's got to move to the side closest to me so he can receive that ball. So the idea is really focused on the player who's not on the ball and the player who is that third man. So that third man run in the rondo. Hope you guys enjoy. The second set of drills that we did was simple two cone drills and all we're doing is going through the variations of different types of technical touches. So you've got passes on the ground, you've got inside foot touch, you've got laces, volley, you've got inside foot volley, you've got two touch with the feet, thigh foot, chest, foot, and then 
header without a jump and header with a jump, obviously with different types of plyometrics through the two cones. So sometimes we're jumping, sometimes we're hopping over one foot at a time, sometimes we're weaving in and out doing a figure eight type thing. Just notice the way how quickly our feet move and also the types of touches we're taking. Everything is really crisp. Everything's either on the ground if we're passing it or it's right to the person's chest if we're playing it into their hands. This is also a great drill that you can do in your backyard, in your living room, and in a really tight area. In the room that I'm sitting in now, it would be super easy to do. You just need a tiny bit of space and somebody to throw the ball for you. This next drill that you're seeing now is a rotation of three different players with a one-two. So you've got one player uh, who is working most of the time and then the other player who stays sort of in the middle but is really it's really important for that player to check in and check out. As you can see, it's a little one-two and then the player on the outside who's rotating around the whole drill is essentially playing a bunch of one-twos with the server who's in the green. That's Kenny. And Kenny played in the MLS. So Kenny's passing us the ball, and then the two of us, Kante and I, are training together and getting those one-twos going. This drill is awesome to get your feet moving quickly, to get those one-touch passes going, to get that give-and-go going. It's a fantastic warm-up drill, especially if you're going to get into 1v1s, 2v2, most likely 2v2s or 3v3s later on in the session. This is a great drill to do. And fun fact, this drill actually went viral on my friend EJ's Facebook, or uh, not Facebook page, but Instagram page and it's got over a million and a half views, I think now. So super cool, really fun drill to do. And there's a second variation that we'll talk about in a little bit.
So you're seeing the variation of what we did in that first drill. So now we're over by ourselves. The other two players went over and trained with Kenny. Kenny stayed there and did some of the feeding. So in this one, it's an outside foot, excuse me, an outside. In this one, it's an outside the cone touch, inside the cone touch, drop, touch across the back cone, play up through one, two there, one on the outside, and then back in the inside, drop, etc. So it's a really simple drill to do, but it really gets you used to moving forward and backward and different types of touches when you're under pressure, so to speak, when the ball is being fizzed in and you can really move and it forces you to pass, move, pass, move, which is a very fundamental part of it. Finally, we're just getting into a 2v2 plus one. Kenny stayed as a neutral and then the two uh, we rotated. So it was games to three points and then you play best two out of three and then we swap teams. So as you can see, tons of fun goals, tons of good tackles. Uh, I'll let this play out through the entire set of 1v1s. I know it's a pretty long video, but if you guys do want to watch the entire thing, it's there for you. It was a fantastic training session. I love playing 2v2s because you really get a sense of who you're good at playing with, what kind of weaknesses you have, because you're tested against all the players that are in your group, obviously, except for the neutral player. But it's a little bit like a 3v2 when you're on offense, and then you've got to defend a 2v3 uh, when you're on defense. So that's something to think about as well. Super, super fun, and uh, I'll let it play out.
Thanks again for joining me for today's video, guys. I really appreciate you sticking all the way to the end. If you did, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like the video if you got value from it. Comment down below what types of training drills you guys want to see, and I'm more than happy to post them and, of course, train with my friends like this. I love these small group sessions. They are an absolute blast, so it is a pleasure making this type of video. Apologies about the audio. Obviously, it was very windy and I didn't put my microphone on there simply because I was just recording for the entire session, essentially. Um, so that's why the music is there. Hope you enjoyed that music. And as always, guys, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.